Hi YouTube, Studoc here. Welcome back to some more low-rated duelists. So we have Leon0444 here at 123. And Desutopia1196. So good lucky. You mean good luck? What the, what does good lucky mean? <laughs> I don't know. So right now I'm listening to the theme song. Oh no! Well, it depends what theme song it is. Is it the new Arc 5? Or is it the GX? Or is it the 5Ds? Or is it the original? There's so many different theme songs. You can't just say theme song. Like, what, what the heck? So, Leon's gonna flip someone a Gravekeeper Spy. Oh, it must be 5Ds, because it's Get Your Game On. Yeah. Oh, I should have known, because his avatar was Jaden. Yeah. So, Gravekeepers without an extra deck. Pretty interesting, because, I mean... You can easily go for rank fours and stuff, but I mean, whatever. So he's gonna be flip summoning spy to special summon the nobleman, and then he's gonna normal summon the assailant and just push for damage here. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Necro Valley yet, so that's why I thought Recruiter would have been a little bit better. He's gonna attack right into an elemental hero woodsman, and <laughs> surprisingly enough, that survives. And now, Des Utopia will actually be able to add a polymerization from his deck to the hand. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, a pyramid of light! What? If this face up card is removed from your side of the field, destroy Andro Sphinx, Sphinx Soleil. Oh my god. This is the first time I've actually th ever seen this happen, I believe, in real life. I don't, I don't know. Pyramid of light. Just gets rid of those Egyptian gods right now. It's actually going for quite a bit of money. Buck fifty. So he's going to be able to special summon the Sphinx Soleil for free. Oh god. Don't see this every day, guys. Oh my god. So he can pay 500 life points, special summon this card when Pyramid of Light is on the field. And it cannot attack during the turn it was normal summoned. But. He, or special summon, okay. And this cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. And it does piercing. Oh, it does somewhat of a piercing. It does piercing equal to half of the defense. Oh, okay, so I guess that's better than piercing. So if you attack over... Well... Actually, no, it's not as good as piercing. Because if you attack over something that has like 100 defense, you only do 50 damage. But if it was just regular piercing, you would do 2400 damage. So, unfortunately, Sphinx to Layer, you're not really the best of the best. So, Des Utopia is going for some fusion shoguns right here. He's going to use the... Woodsman to add polymerization, then he's going to play it. Revealing Great Tornado, or are you going to summon Great Tornado? He's going to pitch Prisma, and... You know you have to summon that Prisma, right? <laughs> he's going to pitch Prisma and Necroshade to summon Great Tornado. Okay, that is not how that works. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you need an elemental hero monster, which you had, and then a wind monster, but you have to normal summon your... your Prisma. I'm sorry, man. You cannot just activate that in your hand. I'm sorry, but whatever. We're just going to pretend he normal summon that. He's going to MST the Pyramid of Light, so there goes bye-bye to Sphinx to Leia. So, looking really, really good for Des Utopia here. This does die, so get that off the field for me. Yeah, <laughs> he might have a low rating, but he, he can actually read, unlike unlike the guy we had yesterday in DN Duel Commentary and last week in Low Read a Duelist. This guy can actually read, so I'll give you some golf claps for that. I know, keeping the expectations low as always. So, Sphinx to Leia, yup, it is destroyed. I know, Leon is probably having a heart attack. He's probably, like, raging. He's probably flipping the table and raging, like, No, how could you? And then Great Tornado will be able to attack over... I'd say the Assailant. Yeah, the Assailant's the, the biggest threat. Because if he top decks in Necro Valley, then... Well, he still can't get past it, but I mean, whatever. So, what is this guy's effect? This card is Fusion Summon. You can half the attack and defense of all decent monsters your opponent controls. So this is now at... Mmm, 750. This guy's at 750, this guy's at 1000, and then this guy is at 600. Okay. So, Leon's saying, wait, I really don't know what you're going to do. I mean, you could Veil it if you want to, but he's still going to be able to attack over it. So, Veiling would not be optimal. 
<sighs> Pyramid of Light, god man. Read your own cards. <laughs> it's, it, like, I wish I could view the graveyard so I could copy and paste it for him, but yeah, Pyramid of Light says if it is destroyed, then your all your Sphinxes get destroyed as well. So, it would be nice if you could read your own cards, but unfortunately, I know, it's so hard. So hard to do in this, in this century. Like, back in my day, people actually read their cards. Now just, they read what they want to read. They read the first sentence and just ignore the rest of it. <laughs> and sometimes I am guilty of that. Not too often, but sometimes. So that goes bye-bye to Assailant, and now back to Leon's turn. Now, if you had rank 4s, you could easily normal summon a level 4 Gravekeeper, exceed into a 101, and then attack over the Woodsman. But unfortunately, because you were too lazy to make an extra deck, you will not be able to get out of the situation that easily. I mean, unless you have, like, a Regeki or something. I mean, you are playing a 40-card deck, but, I mean, a deck, I guess this is Gravekeeper Sphinx? Just, if you're playing Gravekeepers, please, please play an extra deck. Like, come on, man. Does Utopia, on the other hand, is a 60-card deck and 15 in the extra deck, so pretty good by him. Still Leon's turn. He's just sitting here. Okay, he is going to play the Necro Valley, so I assume he just top-decked right into that. I don't know why you're clicking it. I guess he has to read it or something. <laughs> yeah, I guess he has to read it. So definitely the best option that you got rid of the Assailant, because, I mean... Assailant would be able to switch this to attack mode and you'll be able to ram over it. So now you're able to add another polymerization, but apparently he's too pro to add another free polymerization. So, oh, Gravekeeper's Guard, my man. And that is how you get rid of the, the Great Tornado. So, whew, man, there, there you go. So he's going to target Great Tornado. I really don't know why you didn't activate Woodsman. I mean, if you're playing a, a fusion hero deck, I'm pretty sure you're playing triple polymerization, and I mean, like, what are the odds that the two cards in your hand are polymerizations, I mean, seriously, so that was probably a complete misplay by Des Utopia 11 here, Leon just happened to have the complete perfect out, like, the perfect out for the Great Tornado, he's gonna tribute the Spy Furry Chief, Chief, yeah, let's go Chiefs, and I have no idea what this does, because it's been, like, years since I've seen someone summon this, so when this card is tribute summoning and target to Gravekeeper Monster and your graveyard just also summon it. Oh wow. Unaffected by Necro Valley as always. So he's going to be bringing back the Assailant. Assailant will be able to attack this, switch it to attack mode. He'll take a thousand and then Chief will be able to push for 1900 points. Or actually 2400 because the Necro Valley. Oh, or Mirror Force to wreck your co cookies. It does still get switched because it the attack was still declared but it's not really going to do anything. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, not really going to do anything. I mean, technically, you still could switch it if you really, really wanted to, but he, he doesn't want to. And I guess, apparently, those two cards in his hand are, are polymerizations since he is not using this guy's effects. So he's going to be activating the other pyramid, the Wall of Revealing Light. So, we have Pyramid of Light, Wall of Revealing Light, all we need is Swords of Revealing Light, and we could have all the the different card, the different Pyramid, whatever you want to call them, cards here. So, he's going to be paying 3,000 life points, so now monsters with 3,000 or less attack cannot declare an attack for his opponent. He still can, as always. So, that's pretty good. Again, I feel they're more optimal. <laughs> okay, now you want to do it. Like, five turns later. Hey, why not use the Woodsman effect? I mean, wait, this is Graveyard 2? Well, you cannot do that. Necrovelli says no. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. Just th just when I thought this guy knew how to read. Unfortunately, he doesn't. Necrovelli, you cannot do it. Negate any card effect that remove a card in the graveyard other than itself to a different place. You cannot add that polymerization from your graveyard to your hand. You have to do it from the deck. I don't know why he went all caps there. That was a little unneeded, but I mean, whatever. 
apparently Leon doesn't know what his own cards do, and apparently this guy doesn't know how to read either. I'm like, God. Like, you just read the first sentence. All Gravekeeper Monsters gain 500 attack and defense. Just read the first god dang sentence, and you don't read anything else. Like, come on, guys. I know it's hard to read, like, three or four or five sentences, but... Like, don't just make assumptions about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, read your the entire card, please. Like, come on. Okay, so Des Utopia is going to be using this effect again to add yet another polymerization. I really don't know why he didn't do that before. I mean, it, it was just a free plus one and a free deck thin, but I mean, whatever. I'm not going to tell you how to play the game. So now I know he has two polymerizations, and all he really needs to do now is go for some good plays he can get past the nobleman. Unfortunately, this will be able to bring out a spy and defense mode when it gets destroyed by battle. If he has like a regeki or something, that'll just be a quick and easy out to it. So, let's see what he's gonna do here. He's definitely up on resources. He's got, what, nine cards to Leon's five, so he has plus four on him. For being the lower rated guy, I mean, he's at 96. Oh, he quits. <laughs> Oh, he quits for being the low-rated guy, and you have all the advantage. No, you could just quit. So let's see if he disconnected or if he is still on. He is still on, so I have no idea why you just quit. Like, that was just stupid. That was just... That made absolutely no sense. So let's see what time we're at. Oh, we're at 11 minutes. That's a long. We've seen enough cheating, so there was definitely some cheating, some random stuff. We got to see Pyramid of Light and Sphinx to Layout. That was pretty interesting. Like, I got to get some claps for that. Do not see that every day. Now, Leon, if you would have had an extra deck, you probably would have had a better chance of winning. But, I mean, you did have the Gravekeeper's Guard to get past the one fusion. The Gravekeeper's Chief was definitely a cute play. But, I mean, whatever. I mean, apparently you won. I think Des Utopia could have won if he wouldn't have quit. I don't know why he quit. guess he just got bored or something. But, I mean, whatever. Thank you guys for watching this edition of Low Rated Duelist. As always, stay tuned for next week when we'll obviously have some more. And that's all i got to say for this video. Thanks for watching as always.